FBLA PVL Week and welcome to this evening's National President's Forum which will offer tips and suggestions for Career and Technical Education Month from our three panelists, your FBLA, PBL and Professional Division National Presidents. Each will also give brief updates about the programs that their teams are working on. This will be followed by an open forum which will be moderated by Communications Manager Laura Morgan. I'm Lisa Smothers, FBLA PBL Membership Director, and I will serve as your moderator for the first portion of this evening's presentation. We encourage you to submit questions at any time during the broadcast using the GoToWebinar toolbar at the top right of your screen. We will be recording this session and it will be available on our YouTube channel. For more than 70 years, teachers, students, business leaders, and politicians have helped shape our past and build our future through the CTSO, Career and Technical Student Organization, Future Business Leaders of America, Phi Beta Lambda, FBLA PBL. February kicked off Career and Technical Education, or CTE Month. How can members celebrate? Spread the word on social networks all month long by sharing your FBLA PBL story. On Twitter, share your FBLA PBL story in 140 characters or less, and be sure to include hashtags CTE Month and hashtag FBLA PBL Week. Facebook, write your FBLA PBL story on our national Facebook wall or post on your own wall or status. And chapter activities, participate in your chapter's FBLA PBL Week activities. Most chapter will have an event or activity for each day of FBLA PBL Week. Need some examples? Let's ask our distinguished guests what FBLA PBL and career and technical education has done for them. Sam? Um, thank you so much, Mrs. Smothers, and hello, everybody. Um, I think the best example that I'll give in um, how FBLA PBL and CTE Month has done a lot for me would be that I've had the opportunity through the events that we've planned by going through the week, um, the day-by-day -day structure that FBLA gives you for FBLA week specifically. I've gotten to meet tons of members from not only my own local chapter, of course, but around the country, and that has been an excellent opportunity to network and to make some really great friends. Thanks, Sam. Bo? Um, I would have to say, just like Sam, it was meeting a lot of people, but before I joined FBLA and all the other CTSOs that I'm involved in, I really wanted to go into accounting, and then I started getting involved into with a lot of national and state officer campaigns, which really moved me more towards the marketing aspect, so it's definitely helped me shape my career. Thanks so much, Bo. And David? Uh, well, for me, career technology education is gotten me to where I am in my career. I'm a CPA by trade. I'm the CFO of the Workers' Compensation Commission in Maryland. And it was through FBLA when I first started that I got an internship during the summer in an accounting office in our board of my local board of education. And that just kind of started the ball rolling with where I am today. Thanks, David. Now please welcome back your FBLA national president, Sam Kessler, who will give you more details about FBLA PBL week. All right, thank you, David Bow and Mrs. Mothers. So, as we all know, FBLA PBL Week began yesterday. Chapters throughout our country are celebrating by publicizing their activities that include everything from community service projects to having a guest speaker at a chapter meeting. Remember, FBLA PBL Week can serve as a springboard to celebrating the entire month of February for Career and Technical Education, or CTE Month. Once FBLA PBL week is over, continue to plan different activities throughout the month. It could be something as simple as sponsoring a guest speaker at a meeting, promoting green activities to your members, hosting a chapter etiquette dinner, or sponsoring a network night. Remember, it's not too late to recruit. Focus on recruiting underclassmen that will help maintain your chapter. Host a pizza party, a movie night, field trip, or any other fun activity to attract more members. Keeping your members interested and involved is the key to retention. This month is also a perfect opportunity for FBLA, FBLA middle level, and PBL members to finish up the BAA, MAP, High Five, or CMAP programs. Next, promote our mission, which is to bring business and education together in a positive working relationship through innovative leadership and career development programs. FBLA PBL chapters do this through simple projects that help both the school and community, state and national leadership conferences where students can network with their peers and business leaders from across the country, 
and co-curricular activities such as the stock market game for FBLA um, for, and the virtual business challenge. Knowing and understanding our mission will help you sell the benefits of FBLA PBL to students, administrators, and your community. Here to tell you more is PBL National President Bo Kopp. Thank you, Sam. So make sure that you get noticed. Make sure your school, local media, business, policymakers, and the community know about CTE Month. Invite community leaders or state officers to attend your chapter meetings and communicate with public officials by writing and visiting your elected officials. This is a great opportunity to take pictures and write news stories. Take it a step further and make sure your chapter is in the news throughout the remainder of the FBLA PBL year. Media looks for news that is timely and includes high resolution photos and is of interest to the community. Student award winners, group events, unique fundraisers, and projects are all great things that your chapter reporter can focus on when preparing a news release for the community or school newspaper or website. Often journalists look for a hook to a story. Instruct your officers that when writing news releases, use words like first ever, best, or largest. Saturday is National FBLA PBL Community Service Day. If you have not planned something, there is still time. You could even plan a project for later in the month, but promote it to your members now. Service activities help your chapter get involved and contribute direct to the community. Members recognize the importance of being responsible citizens and form networks within business community, within business and with community leaders. Service learning helps your members learn about real world issues, concerns, and needs. It matches members' strengths with the community's needs, provides practical experience in planning and organizing, develops leadership skills, builds recognition and goodwill for the chapter, teaches satisfaction of a job well done. Activities could include working with our national community service partner, the March of Dimes, volunteering at a homeless shelter, conducting a blood drive, developing a community improvement project, or developing a project with any other service organization now here's the Professional Division National President, David Jones. The National Leadership Conference concludes the year and sets the stage for the upcoming school year. By promoting this conference during CTE Month, your school and your community will be aware of the fact that your chapter plans on sending representatives to this year's event. Promotion is especially helpful when you look for funding to attend. The best and the brightest of FBLA and PBL convene to compete in leadership events, share their successes, and learn new ideas about shaping their career future through workshops and exhibits. You can compete in open events where you don't have to pre-qualify. This year's NLC will be held in Chicago, Illinois, and it will be here before you know it. The dates are PBL are June 24th through 27th, and FBLA June 29th through July 2nd. Back to you, Lisa. Thank you, David. We'll now turn to the forum section of this broadcast. Each of your division presidents will give a brief update. This will be followed by an open forum in which you will be able to ask any of the three national officers questions. We'll begin with our FBLA national president, Sam Kessler. Sam? Hello, FBLA, and welcome once again to FBLA PBL Week. I spent the beginning of this year excited to see what we'd all achieve when we stepped up to the challenge, and I'm overwhelmed by the amount of success that we've seen this year as members of this organization. First off, due to your recruitment efforts, our membership numbers are growing and they're going strong, and we've even added some new international chapters in places as far away as Taiwan. The conference season kicked off with NFLCs in DC, Minneapolis, and New Orleans, and the state officer track delivered networking and leadership opportunities at these conferences to over 250 state officers, which is a huge increase from what we had our first year of doing this program, which was last year. In addition to attending conferences, one of the largest ways in which FBLA members have stepped up to the challenge this year has been through the Business Achievement and Community Service Awards. Through these programs, FBLA members around the country have spent their school years building leadership portfolios and helping their communities. Speaking of community service, we are well on our way to our organization-wide goal of raising half a million dollars, or I'm sorry, yep, half a million dollars for the March of Dimes. 
In fact, the NFLC dance raised over 35% more for our national service partner than it did last year. Now, additionally, the Chapter Challenge program is well underway. We're currently in the middle of Action Awareness, which um, is the component where we encourage you to use this program to promote FBLA and your local chapter. Throughout the year, I encourage you to submit your chapter successes online through the new Chapter Spotlight program. Visit fblapbl.org for information, and while you're there, you may also use the site to find links to all of our social media pages. Follow FBLA, the National Center, and your national officers on Facebook and Twitter, uh, and Twitter in order to keep up to date with all of our conferences, news, and programs. So in conclusion, I wish all of you competing at SLC good, um, good luck, and I can't wait to see many of you again this summer at the NSC in Chicago. Happy FBLA PBL week. Now we'll go to PBL National President, Bo Cobb. Thank you, Lisa, and congratulations so far with a successful year, Sam. So good evening, FBLA PBL, and I hope that you're enjoying your second semester. And once again, happy FBLA PBL week. The three words that lie upon the FBLA PBL crest are service, education, and progress. Your PBL national officer team has been hard at work in all three areas. In terms of service, we set a goal to raise $550,000 for the March of Dimes. I know this is tangible because FBLA National President Sam Kessler and I traveled to Arizona last fall to accept an award as the March of Dimes largest youth community service partner with cumulative donations of over $15 million in our 40-year partnership. In terms of education, our team launched the first ever NFLC PBL Pathways program hosted in the historic city of New Orleans. Industry professionals met one-on-one -on -one with our talented members and led exciting workshops. I am proud to say that our Career and Membership Achievement Program is currently being updated and will be active shortly. If you have any input, please feel free to reach out to me at pblpres at fbla.org. In the area of progress, many chapters have taken advantage of our Chapter Challenge Program by participating in Nonstop November and Super Sweeps. Make sure to complete action and make sure to complete action awareness that kicked off last month to be in the running to be recognized for completing the chapter challenge at this year's NLC. And last, this is my favorite. PBL currently has an increase of 2.3% members nationwide over last year's total and over 18 chapters more than this time last year. I am proud to say the goals that my team set out at national officer training are coming to fruition. Please feel free to email me at pblpres at fbla.org if you have any questions. Thank you, Bo. And finally, but last but finally not least, here's our professional division national president, David Jones. Thanks, Lisa. I'm very excited to represent the professional division and help kick off FBLA PBL week. And to start, I'd like to give you some updates on some things that are happening in the professional division. Our membership this year has increased 28% over this time last year. And with a little over 3,500 members, we've already exceeded our year-end membership from last year. So thanks to each of you for your recruitment efforts, and be sure to keep recruiting throughout the rest of the school year. We also have a giving campaign in progress to accept tax-deductible donations from PD members with the proceeds going to sponsor a competitive event at the National Conference. We are working towards our goal of raising $5,000 and encourage any PD member who would like to help our students to go to the Professional Division main page on National FBLA's website to find the link to donate. And our committees have been very active as well. Our membership and alumni committee is working on formalizing a Professional Division Hall of Fame. The State Chapter Development Committee has partnered with a few states to develop PD state officer teams in those states so we can increase our presence uh, in the state at the state level. And our conference experience committee is planning networking sessions and resume review sessions once again at the NLC in Chicago. And in the next few months, you'll see professional division members serving as judges and workshop presenters at the state conferences around the country. And our committees will be busy finalizing the projects that they have been working on all year. 
So on behalf of the PD Vice President Blake Reynolds from Massachusetts and PD Secretary Treasurer Kelly Scholl from North Dakota and myself, have a great FBLA PBL week. I look forward to seeing many of you at the NLC in Chicago this summer. Thank you, David, and thank you to all of our division presidents. We're having a great year so far. I'll now turn it over to Laura Morgan, your communications manager. Okay. Well, we had a number of questions submitted, and we're ready to begin the open forum portion of our webinar. Um, if we run out of time before we finish, we will email you individually to answer any questions that we're not able to get to. So we'll, let's just go to the first question. And it's, what programs are being created to increase membership? Sam, do you want to take this one? Yeah, I'd love to. Um, so one of the biggest programs that we're doing um, in the FBLA level to increase membership is the new FBLA Chapter Spotlight Program. I know I've already spoken about it today, and I've spoken about it in past president addresses to the nation. But the Chapter Spotlight Program, which just went live just this past week, which you can find on the national website, is a new program where you can submit some chapter news to your regional officer by filling out an application. But the really great part about this program is that at the end of the year, we're going to be recruiting, or I'm sorry, compiling a fundraising and recruitment guide, which is basically a compilation of all of the submissions that we get for this chapter spotlight program. So in addition to getting recognition each month, one chapter is going to be selected for this program each month to represent their region. Um, at the end of the entire year, we're going to have this big portfolio of some fundraising and recruitment tips for the entire um, organization. Okay, great. Thank you, Sam. All right, uh, let's move to our next question. And it's, what are the best ways to recruit members for the second semester? Bo, why don't you take this one? All right, thanks, Laura, and great question. You know, this is my favorite time of the year to be a member of FBLA PBL with state competitions right around the corner. I know that Rhode Island, we just had our state competition past Friday. So this is the best time to get members in so they can actually come in and their first meeting could be the conference, and what an awesome first meeting that would be. So definitely use our competitions, um, and make sure to pay very close attention to your PBL state deadlines out there, guys, because some states' registrations are coming to a close before their state leadership conference. So make sure that you recruit hard and soon. Okay, thanks, Bo. All right, we just received another question that says, I'm recruiting students for each one reach one day tomorrow, and I want to know what is the best way to tell students why they should join FBLA? Uh, Sam, do you want to take that one since they asked about FBLA? Absolutely. So um, this is something else I spoke about earlier today about what I got out of FBLA. And I think the biggest selling point for FBLA, in my opinion, and the best part of FBLA, in my opinion, or at least one of the best parts of FBLA, is really the opportunity to not only meet students from all over the place, but to bond with them, to really make some great friends. So if even somebody isn't interested in business, and we all know, those of us who are part of FBLA, that FBLA reaches far beyond just business education. Um, if somebody just wants to become a part of something, become a part of a community of a bunch of students their age, really tell them that they should get involved with FBLA because it is an incredible opportunity and a really fun opportunity. Great, thank you. Okay, um, here's a question, Bo, for you. How can my chapter get a story published in the national publications? Oh, that's a great question. So you can, first off, um, there's actually a WooFoo link. So, and it is actually right below me or maybe above me, and it's the bit uh, Wufu link below. So you will click that and you can submit it there and our awesome communications director, Laura Morgan, will review it for publication. And also, uh, if anybody wants anything to be shared on my social media, the National President's page, just shoot me a message and I will do my best to get it posted for you. Okay, thanks, Bo. And as the communications manager, I'll give you a tip. Um, it's always great to try to include photos that show what your chapter's doing because that makes it easier for us to share with other people. So there's a higher chance that we'll be able to publish that. Okay. Uh, next up, Sam, you mentioned action awareness. What is that and how do I sign up for it? 
Great question. Um, so action awareness is the third component of the Chapter Challenge program, and it actually just began about a month ago in January. So all attendees of FBLA and PBL chapters that complete this, they actually receive some ribbons at the National Leadership Conference. And the activities aren't um, just busy work. They're actually designed to help chapters plan and promote CTE Month and FBLA PBL Week. Um, so you can really get involved with the FBLA PBL activities that are posted for you on our website. And the link is also posted on the national website of FBLA, um, which is FBLAPBL.org. So chapters who um, are part of Chapter Challenge and really any FBLA PBL chapter is a part of this organization. So we really encourage you to participate in FBLA PBL week activities. And you can register for Action Awareness. It's not too late. You can do it today. Thanks, Sam. Okay, David, it looks like we have a question about the professional division. Um, we have someone asking, how can my chapter use professional division members? Uh, that's a great question. I get this a lot uh, when people, when talk to people at conferences. Um, one of the best ways that I think to use a professional division member is when preparing for competitive events, and it is the season for that. A lot of competitive event, event judges at state conferences and at national conferences are professional division members. So why not reach out to them now before you go to your conference and get their uh, critique of your performance and get their uh, tips for improving so that when you do go to the state conference, uh, you can qualify to go to the national conference. Also, we just want to be involved, so we are looking for um, that connection with students. That's why people are a professional division member, because they want to give back and they believe in FBLA and PBL members. Um, and like myself, I got a lot out of the organization when I was in uh, FBLA. So love to give back to our members. Um, even things, invite them to a chapter meeting, ask them to speak at a workshop at a conference, or even um, you know, ask them to, job, to do a job shadow day where you go to uh, hang out with them on their job. Uh, also, you can, they may work for a company that is interested in sponsoring a competitive event at the state or national level or just uh, donating money to your local chapter. Uh, so I would encourage you, there's a whole whole bunch of ways that you can utilize them, and there are some great uh, tips and suggestions on the National FBLA website. If you go under the Professional Division tab, the last uh, link at the bottom is uh, Recruiting Resources, and there are some good ideas about how to get your members involved as well. Great, thank you for the information, David. All right, um, we have the question, how can my chapter celebrate Advisor Appreciation Day without spending a lot of money on a gift? Sam, do you want to share some ideas? Absolutely. So there's a bunch of ways you can do this. Um, the first idea is be creative. Um, I know I've had trouble with this in the past. We Sometimes it really is hard to get funding for anything, anything related, but especially FBLA related. So you often do have to um, come to this where you have to come up with an idea where you can't spend any money. And we actually did this in my own chapter in the past where for Advisor Appreciation Day, all we did was instead of spending a bunch of money for a gift and pitching in some money, we came up with a card, and in the card we didn't only sign our names, but you write a message. Um, what advisors want the most, not only during Advisor Appreciation Day, but all around the year, is they want to know that they're having a positive impact on the students that they're serving. And the best way to do that is to let them know that they're doing that. Let them know that they're having a great impact on you and that they've helped you through high school and really had a huge impact on your life, like in my case, and I'm sure in many people's cases. So write a nice personal letter to them, and I'm sure they'll really appreciate it. Great. Thanks, Sam. All right, David, looks like we have another question about the professional division, and um, someone wants to know, what are the benefits of joining the professional division? Well, there are a list of benefits specifically uh, to PB members on our website, uh, such as discounts to uh, certain hotel chains, car rental companies, uh, and uh, just other retailers. But above and beyond that, I think the largest benefit is getting to get an idea of what the upcoming workforce is going to be. You're getting an inside look at what uh, what our students, how they're coming out of high school, how they're coming out of college, and you get to make those types of uh, relationships then, and you get a leg up on the next gener, knowing what the next generation is going to going to be like, basically. Great, thank you. Um, Sam, we have a question. How do I run for FBLA national office? Do you want to share that? 
Absolutely. So this is a bit of a loaded question just because it really does differ from state to state. Um, there is a general way which, um, to run for national office, which is um, you submit the national application, which is posted online on the FBLA website. So there's an application component, then there's an interview component, and then if you've been to an NLC before, you've seen the really intense there's, of course, the, um, the speech and then the campaign process, which is a campaign booth. There's a lot of stuff. Um, it's an awesome, incredible experience. But if you want to run for a national office, you really do first have to check with your state bylaws, with your state, um, with your state chair. Um, they're going to be the ones who are really going to be able to tell you how to run for an office and if you can run for an office. So if you do want to learn just a little bit of the general information about how to run for an office, should you be able to go, or if you're just interested, you can check the website and look through the application yourself. Okay. Uh, kind of a, a follow-up or a tie-in to that question. Um, do I have to be a state officer to run for national office? Bo, why don't you answer that one? All right, awesome. And just like Sam said, make sure that you have your local and state advisor support prior to um, even beginning the journey towards running for office. But when it comes down to it, you do not have to be a state officer to run for office. However, you must hold an office that, such as if you're running for president, if you're running for national president, you must at least have served as the local chapter president. But no, you do not have to. However, I do highly recommend serving as a state officer prior to running for national office. Great, thank you. After FBLA PBL week, what can I do to celebrate CTE month? Sam, would you share some ideas? Oh. Yep, um, I've got a couple ideas. The first idea is really a more broad one, which is to continue stay, um, staying active with your chapter um, having some events. So what that means is have dodgeball tournaments, have fundraising events, anything that you can to get the word out about your chapter by making it really active. That's the first thing that I would tell you. Just plan any events that you can think of. Now for a more specific example of a way that I get involved after CT, um, or after FBLA PBL week with CTE month is to talk some, to some legislators. So bring a group of your more committed FBLA members and of course also PBL professional division. This is for everybody FBLA PBL week. Bring a group of some more committed members, members who are interested in the um, government, the political process. Bring them out to your city hall or to some building that you know that there's gonna be people in there who are willing to listen, who have an effect on government and on legislature and talk to them about FBLA, about CTE, career and technical education, and about something specific which is Perkins funding. You can look that up online, but basically that is what allows organizations like FBLA to run and to be successful. So look up Perkins funding, go talk to some legislators and continue to be active with your chapters throughout the month, not um, only, you know what, throughout the year, not only after FBLA PBL week and CTE month ends, but continue to be active with your chapters. Great, thanks for those suggestions, Sam. Okay, it uh, looks like we have time for one more question. Uh, David, this one is for you. How large is the professional division? Uh, right now we are at about 3,500 members. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, it, we have exceeded our, uh, our membership from this time last, from the uh, end of the year last year already. So uh, we are, well, we're 3,500 members. Thank you so much. All right, well, I think that's about all we have time for. I know we have several more questions uh, that came in, so we will uh, respond to you via email on those. So don't, don't think that you're not going to get your answers, so we'll get back to you in the next couple of days uh, with all of those answers. So we appreciate your questions, and we thank you all for attending. Um, there is one question that I'll answer in my closing. Uh, someone asked, will this webinar be available online? And yes, it will. All of our webinars are uploaded on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash FBLA PBL Inc. So you can check out tonight's webinar and any previous webinars that we've had. So again, we thank you all for joining us tonight. We hope you have a great FBLA PBL week. And remember to submit your FBLA PBL week activities to us so we can put them on social media and in our publications. Have a good night.